Uh, it's 30 years since Sunderland last won a league game at White Hart Lane. Perhaps signing a few Spurs old boys might help. Steve Wilson saw this one. Juande Ramos would appear to have brought Dimitar Berbatov's Tottenham career to a close. The Bulgarian doesn't even appear amongst the substitutes today, with Spurs saying he's not in the right frame of mind. A move away now seems in everybody's interests. One crumb of comfort for Tottenham is the return of Ledley King. Gareth Bale is also back. And David Bentley, who's trying to oust David Beckham from England's right-hand side, again finds Aaron Lennon preferred in that position for Tottenham. Sunderland's new boys, Jibril Cisse and David Healy, only make the bench, having signed in the last 48 hours. Tanio and Chimbonda miss out on facing their former club, but Steve Malbronk is back at White Hart Lane. Zakora. Aaron Lennon. And he's taken on Whitehead and he's beaten him. Well, out by Danny Collins, Darren Bent was waiting behind him. Bent won't reach that, and uh, Tottenham have got themselves a corner. If Bentley gets this right, he's one of the best in the business from set plays. It was always oh, a wicked ball, I don't know how Darren Bent missed it. That's a great ball in by David Bentley. Watch how close Bent gets to this. Modric. Running by Lennon. And a decent ball, well dealt with by Nosworthy. He's always had sparkling feet and great pace. He hasn't always got an end product, but that was dangerous. Reed. He's wriggled away away from Jermaine Genus. Not sure how he managed it, but he did. Asue Koto is happy to concede a corner, and lucky maybe that Malbron didn't really attack the back post. Lovely bit of play by Andy Reid. Sunderland corner. Reid's delivery. Gomez, good take. He did well to hold on to the ball, to be fair to the Tottenham goalkeeper. There's the newest face, Gibral Cisse, got his international clearance with just 10 minutes to spare last night. Sunderland's throw. This is Reed. Malbronk to have a go. Malbronk hits the post. A let off for Tottenham Hotspur. And a familiar face, Steve Malbronk provided the threat. Almost won back by Richardson. Modric took it away and Juf. Lifted over the top of the crossbar, but Tottenham have not played particularly well in this first half, and they're lucky here that they haven't fallen behind. Came off Collins' head, and uh, Tottenham plaintively asking for a corner, which is what they've got. Genus inside the six-yard box, David Bentley to take. Bale, Bent... All there, Ledley King, two, oh, and it should have been put home. Gareth Bale with the header. It's a free header for Gareth Bale, he only had to get over it. And now Juve. Malbronk getting forward, Murphy in the middle, it's a good ball. Murphy had a very tight angle and did really well to get anything on it. It's a really good ball in by Juf. Odds were stacked against Murphy. He did really well to get a shot on target at all. A very average first half from Tottenham. And uh, if anything, they've deteriorated in the second half. And Juan de Ramos has seen enough. He's going to bring on two substitutes in a moment. Meantime, Reed, half out by King. Richardson looked like he used his hand, but the goal is given. Kieran Richardson smashes home a beauty. And Tottenham Hotspur, who've been really poor today, are behind. There was a suspicion of handball. It's a super strike from Kieran Richardson. 
who must get a yellow card for the shirt coming off and does. Tom Huddleston comes on for Tottenham Hotspur. And Giovanni is also going to come on. Now, is this handball? Flicks up off Genus. And then probably it hit Genus, rebounded into Richardson. You'd have to say that if it did make contact with his hand, it was entirely accidental as it cannoned off Genus onto Richardson. It's one heck of a finish, and it's 1-0 to Sunderland. Steve Malbronx there for Sunderland. Malbronx ran into Gareth Bale, that's why Tottenham have the free kick. Whipped in, oh, he got quality, oh, and it's stabbed wide. Bale might have got the final touch, Woodgate and Genus were there too. They were looking for quality and they got it. Bentley's ball into the box, Gordon's mistake. Woodgate just beat Bale to it, it's Woodgate's miss. Here's Bentley. And now Darren Bent, first sight of goal, what can he do with it? Side netting. Well, if Berbatov doesn't want to play, and he doesn't, then Darren Bent is currently the only striker Tottenham have, and that's the only chance he's had. Jibril Cisse to come on, and Richardson, who scored the goal, is the player who will go off. Giovanni from Modric's pass. At last, something a little less predictable from Tottenham. Good ball by Modric. And Giovanni went for it, and he wasn't all that far away either. Chance here for Genus! Wide! I'm not sure anyone got a touch until Genus flicked it beyond Gordon. Huddleston. Genus. Huddleston, Modric. Genus, Bentley, worth a go, and it's a good save. Really good effort by David Bentley. Trying to lift it over Gordon, who made a very good save. Miss Daryl Murphy. that it's Giovanni wasn't a great play by Murphy Giovanni to Genus bent furthest forward Jermaine Genus room for Modric good block by Collins Modric again great save Genus scores Tottenham level with 18 minutes to go Luka Modric right at the heart of the equaliser Gordon unlucky because he made a terrific stop, but he couldn't prevent Genus from tucking home the rebound. Modric's first shot blocked by Collins. Then an excellent stop by Gordon, but it's a tap-in for Jermaine Genus. El Hadjouf running at Bale. Has he won a corner? Yes, he has. Andy Reid's left foot is rather like David Bentley's right. It doesn't often misfire. That's Collins at the back post. Only halfway by Genus Malbronk. Oh. Cannoned onto Ledley King's forehead inside the penalty area. Well, Steve Malbronk hit the post in the first half. And he hit Ledley King with this. Malbronk. Reid. Having another good spell, Murphy. Cisse waiting, and Sunderland in front. Jibril Cisse back in England, back amongst the goals. It's such a simple goal. Loves this ground, Jibril Cisse scored on his Premier League debut here. 
for Liverpool and has scored on his Sunderland debut too. It's a really good ball in by Murphy. And Gibral Cisse puts Sunderland in front. Everybody is talking about Dimitar Berbatov. Can you explain to them and to us what is happening with him? Well, it's nothing to, to hide. Um, we talked to him, like uh, Juan de Say the other day, and uh, he was not in condition, in the right condition to play. I think you say in England, no right frame of, of mind. He was in the right frame of mind to score twice for Bulgaria on Wednesday. Well, but that is not something that we can control. You know, it's not my mind. I can control my one. I cannot control Berber one. So uh, that's the situation. I think uh, everybody knows. So it's nothing we can do. I have to say, Gibral, that with you and Al Hadj, you've playing for Sunderland, there's going to be some great haircuts uh, and some good bling as well, I think, yeah. going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I know Elijah very well and we like flashy stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be... Um, it's gonna be funny for the for the fans and for our for my teammates. You know, they already uh, make joke about my underpants because I, <laughs> I really have a flashy underpants. So they they start already today.